Okay. So good day everyone and welcome back to Mr. V's tutorial. So last time we talked about addition in terms of the basic operations involving integers. Alright. So as we remember, integers are numbers that are signed or they are the positive and the negative numbers. So today we're going to talk about another operation in math which is involving integers and that is multiplication. Okay? So multiplication of integers is one of the easiest and simplest operation in math in involving integers. You just need to follow two rule. So rule 1 Rule 1 involve like sign or uh, uh, rule 1 involve like signs. Let's erase that. Okay. Like signs. What do we mean by that is that your numbers have the same, all your numbers have the same uh, symbol, uh, sign. So, for example, if you have negative A multiplied by negative B, the answer for that is always positive number. So, that's A times B. Okay? And then, another case is that if you have positive A multiplied by positive B, that gives you still positive of the product of A and B. Okay, that's rule number one. Then rule number two is that you have unlike signs factors. Alright, so if you have positive A multiplied by positive uh, unlike Mr. V. <laughs> unlike negative B your answer will always be negative and then the product of a and b same thing if your a is negative a multiplied by positive b your answer will still be or your product will still be negative and then just copy or just multiply the number that you have for a and b okay so that is the two general rule we follow when we are multiplying integers okay so let's now put that into an example so the problem here states that find each product so you just need to multiply the number so if this is every time you see a number that, that doesn't have a sign on it it tells us that it is positive number so in this case if you have this is positive and negative so your answer should be negative and then multiply the number 6 times 4 is equal to 24 so 6 times negative 4 the answer is negative 24 so for number 2 example number 2 4 times 2 so both are positive so like signs positive 8 is the answer so for number 3 positive times negative so positive 3 times negative 3 they are unlike signs so we need to the product will be negative then 3 times 4 is 12 so the same thing same case on number 4 so negative one is negative and the other one is positive so negative times positive gives you negative then multiply the number 6 times 4 that gives you 24 for example number 5 positive and negative equals so that is negative positive and the other one is negative unlike sign your product will be negative 20 5 times 4 is 20 and then example number 6 negative and positive so that gives you negative product 3 times 4 is 12 right 
So negative uh, number 7, example number 7, negative times positive. So negative times positive, that gives you negative product. 5 times 6 is 30. Okay? So example number 8, so negative times negative, that gives you positive. Then 2 multiplied by 1 is simply 2. And then for example number 9, negative times negative, so that gives you positive. Then 8 times 2 is 16. For number 10, 11 times 12, that gives you, what is 11 times 12? That is 132. And since this is, ne this is positive and this is positive, so that is positive 132. So proceeding on our next example, number 11, that is negative and positive. So your answer will be negative. 7 times 5 is 35. Okay. So on number 12, positive and the other one is negative. So our answer will be negative or our product will be negative. Then multiply the number. 9 times 6 is 54 okay and then we still have another examples here we still have eight examples to check on it to answer so positive and positive so positive 10 times 5 is 50 example number 14 9 times 2 or positive 9 times positive 2 that gives us positive 18 Okay, then for number 15, negative times positive, so that gives you negative, then 12 times 7 is 84. Right, and then we got 8, positive 8 times negative 12, so that gives us negative number or negative product, then 8 times 12 is 96 okay so we have three numbers right now so the same process that we need to follow so first you need to multiply the two numbers so positive times positive that gives us positive and then positive times positive still give us positive number so 9 times 10 is 900 oh 90 sorry 9 times 10 is 90 times 6 that is so 9 times 10 is 90 times 6 90 times 6 is 540 all right so for number 18 so let's check first the sign so negative multiplied by negative that gives me positive so let's put that into our solution so positive so 6 times 10 is 60 multiplied by negative 8 so negative 60 multiplied by uh, positive 60 multiplied by negative 8 that gives us negative answer and that is 480 all right all right so going back to oh i mean moving forward to number 19 you got 7 times 9 times 7 so all of them are positive so your product will be positive and 7 times 9 times 7 that gives us 441 okay then on our last example, you got positive times positive times negative. So let's put first or let's multiply first the first two numbers. So positive times positive that gives us positive and then 6 times 6 
and that is 36 multiplied by negative 2 and that gives us positive multiplied by negative that is negative then 36 times 2 that gives us 72 okay so that's all the examples that I have for today for multiplying integers so if you would like to master the multiplication of integers you just need to practice you need to practice practice and more practice all right so that's the end of my tutorial today you all have a good day and see you again on my next video bye